in this lesson this is a continuation of the previous lesson of variables i'll just show you how on a flow code program you can define variables and what are the types of variable and what is the purpose of variables we start up a new program you can see the the two windows which pop up one is the 2d dashboard panel and the other is the main window so if we open the project explorers window the first uh, in the window the first thing which comes up is this globals constants add new false true variables add new variable this is where you add a new variable so I double click it this window comes up create a new variable name of new variable let's say i say s u m sum is the name of the variable initial value i say zero and the type is byte okay and i add another variable and i call it number one initial value zero type by add then other variable same i say number two initial value zero and type is byte then i can define a string variable and i name it as product or answer answer would be better a n s w e r and i say this is a string variable Now, string variable default size 20. Okay. On the left side, you can see there is one string variable with name with the name of answer. Second variable is 
number one, number two, number three. These are the three five variables. So in order to use them, let's say I make a little program in the components library I say imports and on imports I take parent switches, push switches, rocker switches, problem switches, switch array push, switch array slide. I got switch array and I see its properties. It is connected to power P, active by. That's fine. I need another copy of it, so I make a copy of it and I paste it. So I got an other array. I bring it down and then I again check its properties. This time I would like to connect it to port. So that the first row of switches that's connected to port B, the second row of switches is connected to port D. Now I need an output, it should be a display. So I say LCD. So I load an LCD. Okay, so let's write some program and we use the LCD switches and the variables.
फिर मान लीजिए सेकेंड ड्रॉप लाइन एंड लेट दे ही इनपुट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट सोचारी Say read all, and the value of the byte should be saved in number one. Okay. I'm thinking a little bit of delay so that we are able to see it. And. Then I read the second array and the value should be returned to number two. Then we say that we should Some is equal to number one plus number two. Okay. Then the last step is this. Play this sum. Print number, and this should be sum. Let's run it and then we will improve it. So zero plus zero is zero. Good. So I add a delay of another one second. Okay, fine. So this will give us enough time to change the value. And one more thing which we should do is that we must clean the LCD. We must clean the LCD. Number one becomes number one. If I change this, then becomes two. Okay. If I change number two to three, so it becomes four. Three plus one four. Three plus three is six. Four. 
samples now this is 4 to 1 so this is 7 plus 3 is 10 now 7 plus 7 is 14 and so on let's say drop this number it becomes 29 I drop this number it becomes 27 I, drop this. I keep dropping the second number so all this left is number one so that's how you use the variables that the variable from the first set of switches it's stored as a number in the variable which you have defined number one then the second variable from the uh, second row of switches the microcontroller reads it and it stores it in number two variable then sum is the third variable which is being displayed on the LCD. So this is a, this is a sum program, uh, a kind of a binary uh, adder. I hope you now understand how to use the variable.